Hey, what's up team? Welcome to The Modern Creative. My name is Eddie Gray, and today I want to show you how to use Moto Drum in multi-output mode. And this one goes out to Clarence for the request. I do always like taking requests when I can, obviously. I can't take them all, that's just how it works, but this one's fairly easy to do, so I'm going to go ahead and get that now. So I want to show you guys my love, my support. Go ahead and show that back to me by liking, subscribing, sharing, you know the deal. Let's hit on the up and down arrow menu, and I want to go ahead and make sure that this is a multi-output software instrument. If you set this up in stereo, there's really no way to do this. So set up in multi-output mode, go ahead and hit create. Now I can't speak for every DAW, but within Logic Pro, you'll see the bottom of the channel strip here. There's a little plus symbol. And so what we can do here is just go ahead and create a bunch of aux tracks. Now, all in all, we will have 16 tracks. And so we're going to go ahead and form these into a group. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure that these aux tracks are presenting themselves within the tracks area. You can control click and create track or simply hit the key command control T. Everything is now within the tracks area in view. The software instrument connected to all of those aux tracks is right up here. And so I'm going to shift click and create an ad hoc group. And I'm going to create a track stack. And this will allow for processing of all the drum kit once it's time to, you know, get into it here. So after that, we now open up Moto Drums and we go into the mixer area. All right. And then from here, the bottom of these channel strips, I'm going to go ahead and just start to assign these to the aux tracks that we mentioned a little bit earlier. Now you can be a little bit more tactful and meticulous with this, but I'm just going to simply assign to the whatever's open next. Okay. Uh, not a lot, you know, detail in that regard. I don't know if I like to think about a lot of stuff, you know, when I'm creating. Now, it's different when you put on the producer hat, but when you're in that full-fledged, let's just get into it mode, uh, I don't think that there's there's a lot of room for, you know, overanalyzing. Just a couple things on why you would want to do this. Uh, for one, it gives you a lot of control over the kit. It's probably one of the signs of a beginner. The drum kits just sound super generic. And um, anybody who's seasoned, you know, who is worth their weight, their stuff sounds good. It sounds real. It sounds authentic. And so that's one thing. The workflow, if you wanted to stem everything out, it's much easier to do that. And so then now I've stemmed everything out. And when I play, you'll see that everything has been assigned appropriately. All right. So you can go ahead and save that within a group. I'm going to go ahead and collapse the group itself. And I will call this multi output moto drums so let's say tomorrow we're starting up a session we're looking for just a quick way to start drawing up some ideas you simply go into your patches i like to name this multi output just to give me a direct link to what i'm looking for i click on that and Cool. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you're liking what we're doing, go ahead and like, subscribe. Look, I got a lot of love for all of my creatives out there. I want to see you guys win. I know that it's possible, so let's keep pushing forward, and you'll get your crown. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.